Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on building a Chrome extension. It integrates Firebase Authentication and Stripe for Payments, seamlessly synchronized with a Firebase database. Start by creating a new Firebase project. Once the project is set up, add an app to Firebase and configure its settings. Set up Firebase Authentication. Let Firebase automatically create a Google Cloud project that corresponds to your Firebase project. Create a Cloud Firestore database. For this setup, ensure the database ID is set to default either by creating it this way or using the existing default database. Install the Run Payments with Stripe extension. Make sure to install the recommended extension from Firebase, not the one found on the extension's main page. Set up the required minimum billing plan for your Firebase project. You can create a new billing profile or use an existing one. Enable all required services for the extension to function properly. Generate a restricted Stripe API key. Use the option to securely provide this key to third parties. For the URL, use your Firebase general URL. Assign the necessary read and write permissions for Firebase. Insert the secret key into the input box, leaving the Stripe webhook secret empty for now. Apply the required Firestore rules. Copy the rules provided in the How to use this extension section and paste them into the Cloud Firestore rules section in your Firebase console. Create a Stripe webhook. In the Event Destination section, add a new destination and select all required events described in the extension documentation. Provide the endpoint URL from the extension. Copy the signing secret from Stripe and update the extension's configuration by adding the Stripe webhook secret. Ensure that NPM is installed on your system. If not, use the Node.js installer to install it. Install the Firebase SDK in your project directory. 
Install the necessary dependencies for Webpack. Build the package or for development. Use the watch parameter instead. Activate developer mode in Chrome to enable loading local extensions. Install the Chrome extension in your browser. Create an OAuth client ID for the Chrome extension in Google Cloud. Use the ID of your Chrome extension. Complete the required OAuth consent page and provide all necessary information in the additional sections. Copy the generated auth client ID into the extension's manifest JSON. Then copy your Firebase configuration details from your Firebase project into the Firebase config.js. Create a product in Stripe. The product will be synchronized with your Firebase database. Next, copy the product's price ID from Stripe into the price ID variable in the extension's main JavaScript file. Relaunch Webpack to regenerate the package with all the changes. Remove and reload the extension in Chrome to ensure all changes are applied correctly. When the user opens the extension, it checks if they are signed in and if synchronization is enabled. If not, it notifies them to do so. When a user successfully signs in, they will be registered in the Users tab under Firebase Authentication. When a purchase is initiated, it will be registered by Stripe in your Firebase database, despite no payment has been made yet. After a successful payment, the corresponding web page, such as example.com, will load. This event is also registered in Stripe and synchronized with the Firebase database. The next time the user opens the extension, it will detect the successful payment in the Firebase database and display a thank you screen. And that's it. You've created a Chrome extension that uses Firebase authentication and Stripe for payment, fully synchronized with a Firebase database.